You know, people sometimes ask me. What? Hey guys, it's Scott. Um, if you're trying to watch the making of last day of or whatever, um, it's it's not really working right now. Um, I kind of accidentally had my own personal files on here and it kind of corrupted the whole thing. Um, not really my fault that I did it purposely, but just don't watch it, okay? Um, that's about it. Oh, one really important thing, and that's that. <laughs> when they shove up all the snow like in one corner of the parking lot and it looks like a big pile of shit. That's what I think of when I think of Scott. He's just a tetrapod among mere men. Mere men. There's nothing. There's nothing great about him. No, absolutely nothing. He believes in a wrong guy. He goes to work every day like he's living the last day of his life. You're gonna live more days than that. Oh yeah, I think people really admire me. Uh, I think they definitely admire everything about me, really. Um, my looks, my directing skills, people really look up to me. I wouldn't trust them with my kid. They think I'm amazing, so that's, that's that really helps this movie get done. I think it's definitely. Scott was an imbecile. He didn't exactly know what he was doing at any point in time. He gave me direction, but I just looked at him and cast him aside. Well, I came up with this idea all the way on my own. Um, one night, I was I was sitting ironing, actually, and I just had this brilliant, this genius moment, like I do often, where it just came to me, and I was like, "Let's write this movie about the end of the world." And there I had it. Um, some people tried to to say that they added, like, "Hey, Scott, let's have a joke here about this," but no, it, this was all me. Yeah, uh, that that was my story, and the stole it. So I'm pretty sure he came into my house, he went through my files on my computer, took pretty much the entire story, uh, copied it verbatim, I'm also missing a considerable amount of pornography, you can take that as you will, and my cat is gone. Scott's okay, he did an okay job, but I think Hunter Ingersoll would have been such a good director. He's so hot and has such a good body and so intelligent. I think you would have better ideas than Scott ever did. Alright guys, you're Alright, Kyle, you're ready? You got the scene. Got it. Alright. This is the scene where you're on the bench, Seth, you just got your tattoo. Jessica, you're coming to look at it, you're kinda of disgusted. Jessica! Where's Jessica? Going? I can be Jessica! Oh my gosh! Oh, I love tattoos! This is this your new tattoo? It's so hot! Yeah. I can be Jessica! This I can be a girlfriend! It's not even a tattoo woman! Oh, this is like, a you should get your tattoo 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 tattoo. This is acting! You just- Stop! I can be Jessica. I can be Jessica. Yeah, Shelby is way too obsessed with Hunter, and I can tell he does not want any part of that. And he definitely got with me so many times, and she just needs to deal with that. In. Um, but I think she really digs me. Um, definitely, definitely digs me. I mean, not that all the ladies don't, but her especially. And I'm definitely liking her too. I think this is going somewhere. Um, I haven't really talked to her about like how many kids we're gonna have, or where we're gonna live, and stuff like that, and like who's gonna wash dishes. Her. Um, but 
we'll, we'll get to that eventually. I don't think Scott knows about me. Because... Because he tells me he wants to rub me a lot. And... I like vagina. Laura, um... I actually tried to get with that, but I heard that she actually likes the scissor action. She's actually into the into the girls, so uh, I actually had to go home and. She like she flirts with me so much. She'll be like, "Hey Scott, um, find your own script," or she'll hit me and be like, "Stop telling me what to do." And it, oh, she's so hot. The, the way that she flirts with me, I'm getting kind of flustered right now. I have to say, though, it was really awkward watching her make out with the lunch lady. It was weird, but I could not look away. Not to sound gross or anything, but I got up and no one has made me orgasm like that ever in my life. I think I have a pretty good chance with Laura. somewhere with that slot Megan. What can I say about Megan? Uh, everybody rides her like a bus route. So, um, the guys all had a bet to see who could get with me before the premiere. Yeah, they all won. In between takes, she would offer me some uh, things I, I never quite understood. Uh, a ZJ, I'm still trying to figure out what exactly that is and why it would cost $50. You know, I had some good times in this elevator, with both Kyles at once. Oh, and then there was um, Evan, yeah, he, he was a good time. Uh, then there was Eric and Jesse. God, who else was there? There's just so many. She gets around. Uh, uh, I'm pretty sure she's had every guy on. Megan, oh my god, that bitch better back the up. <laughs> because you know what, she's all over my man, and he is my man first. And I don't like it. I know they have to do every scene together, but why?